Lily's Revenge is um, a five hour play that uh, has a cast of about 36 people in it. Um, and uh, it is a, a pastiche. So what that means is um, the first act is a musical, the second act is all in verse, the third act is dance theater, the fourth act is a film, and the final act is everything squished together. And I've taken from all different kinds of theatrical styles, genres and forms and tropes, and um, I've squished them all together to create this play that is about traditions and myths and how we use traditions and myths. And um, we can use them to support and foster community or we can use them to tear community apart. Um, and it's about trying to figure out uh, how to create new myths and new traditions that help us live in this present moment instead of relying on all the traditions and the myths from the past, only from the past, um, to define the way that we, uh, we live our lives and the social dictates of our lives. So that's what it's about. Um, it's a complete joy to do. It's, uh, it's really a, so much about um, breaking down the barriers between the audience and the performers. Um, we have an open dressing room during the intermissions. Um, we have the performers perform during the intermissions all over the building, and, but they perform as themselves. They just talk to you. Um, they're not in character or anything. Um, the play uses uh, marriage and weddings as, uh, as the way to talk about traditions and myths. So I wanted the play to um, be as long as a, a wedding would normally be. You know, you go to the reception and you go to the ceremony and, um, and it's usually about four to five hours long, so that's what our play is. Um, it's also pulls from Japanese no theater, so that's, um, that they would do five plays all in one day. And so I decided to, to combine No with Elizabethan and do one play that has five acts to it. And, and why it's so long is because it's a community event. We're trying to build community um, with the audience and the performers uh, and, and kickstart that conversation about what community is, how can we foster it in this present moment. You know? I, I like to say that you, you pull from the past, you honor the past, you celebrate it, and you acknowledge it. Um, but you don't let it rule the present moment. Um, you live in the present moment, and then you take all that information from the past and the present moment, and you help dream the culture forward. And that's what my job is as an artist, I think. So um, that's what we're doing with the Lily's Revenge.